Good afternoon. We're, we're going to continue to uh, post uh, video segments and commentaries that help us become aware of how to provide a safe environment for our youth. Uh, in posting in one site, uh, I was asked, well, Pastor Larkins, how do you provide uh, safety and protection for your children without isolating them or locking them in the house? It takes work. The person that asked me that clearly tells me that they are an inexperienced parent or a first or second time parent that really has not taken the effort to find out what's, what necessary uh, uh, standards and what necessary precautions need to be taken to safeguard their children from sexual predators. But we've been continuously getting this concept into your mind that uh, protecting innocence uh, means protecting my children at all costs. It's my number one duty. It's my number one responsibility. And today we're going to talk about the importance of providing a safe environment at home and within your family structure. You've got, you, it may very well be you and I have sexual predators that's in our family. They could be an uncle or an aunt, a brother or sister. Uh, no telling. But it's not only the people that's in your family, it's who the people in your family knows or who the people in your family associates with. You have to uh, make sure that you don't just trust anybody. Just because they're a family member doesn't necessarily mean that they have earned your trust. Just because they're a brother doesn't mean that they're not a pedophile. So it's a parent's responsibility for you to check out what the appetites and the lifestyle is on those family members before you lean, lend your trust to them for your children. I, look, I had a brother and he had a, a, a life, a background of perversion and I didn't let my little children go to his home. Well, that's not according to our custom and our traditions in this country. But we have never lived in such a time that we live in now where there's so many people with so many varying sexual appetites. I tell people this and they don't know it because they just don't pay attention to it. 14 states in the United States has already legalized having sex with animals. You don't know how many people that you know or who are in your family who has perverted sexual appetites. I'm going to leave, with, leave you with this. It's your responsibility to find out before you trust them with your children. Have a good day.